YouTube. I'm about to make that move. Just came back from Home Depot. Picked up a shelving 4818 by 72. I'm gonna put this together. I'm in my garage now. And we're gonna see what it do to be the team my dilemma. I have all these boxes um, that I need to put on my shelf to make it a little bit more accessible. And that's why I went and got that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it together and see how, see how it goes. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, took a razor blade and opened it up. So as you can see, here is the merchandise. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and put it together. See how long it takes. All right, fellas, so part two is laying all of the shells flat, even across each other, putting in the first four poles, and then you add in the second pole, set of poles on top, screw them in, and then wherever you want the shell to be, you raise it, attach the black, stoppers or whatnot, and then lower it onto the stoppers. I think that's the easiest way to do it. So let me go ahead and get that done. Got the poles up. Now it's time to bring these out a bag of the black stoppers. So we'll see how this goes. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, here's the first two um, shelves up. Still got five more to go, I mean, three more to go. But as you can see, I wear a big shoe. So just enough room for two boxes. Two on top should be about four across. So I should be able to get about 40 pairs of sneakers on here. So we'll see. See, it is now complete. This last shelf I didn't need because that's the bottom shelf. I'll let the ground be the bottom. And over here, there's a shelf. So right now I'm in the process of moving all these shoes out the way and then I'm gonna slide the shelf right here in this corner. So to be continued. Hey folks, so here we have it. Finally got it in and together. So The only bad part about it is getting back there. I got like two rows back there. I have to take a row down, slide it to get back there. But it's collection shot. Wifey's over here. On the top side, bottom, there, here. 